Greetings everyone. My name is Shiv Prasad Das from Real Academy 9th Standard. Today I will be explaining about the working of a jet engine and carrier deck operations. In case you are wondering what a carrier is, I am referring to this, an aircraft carrier which can take off and land planes. Yeah, it's a ship from which planes can take off and land. Now, let me explain you the working of a jet engine. Just like any other plane engine, it takes air from the front, mixes it with fuel and throws back. What's the difference? The difference is that a turbojet engine uses 100% of the air intake to mix it with fuel. Other engines use only a part of the air intake and mix it with fuel. Now, if you notice in this diagram, in this area, you have a very thick axis and a huge number of blades. That is the compression chamber because the air is compressed to increase the pressure. Right after that, in this region, you have the combustion chamber wherein you mix the air with fuel and ignite it. Since the temperature increases because of ignition, the kinetic energy of the molecule also increases which gives the plane its main thrust required. Right after that, you have the exhaust. Fighter planes also have afterburner, which is when you mix even more fuel into the already ignited air fuel mixture. That gives the plane so much thrust, it can take off in less than 500 meters. But it is only used during takeoff, otherwise you would waste a lot of fuel. Now if you are wondering, if jet engines are so powerful, you can easily operate them on ships, right? Actually, no because this thing is less than 350 meters and you need a minimum runway of 500 meters for the planes to take off and you also have to do many other things other than just the planes taking off and landing so how do the planes take off and land on the ships now if you notice in this you have certain lines other than the runway markings those are the catapults a catapult works by shooting the plane so that it has enough energy when it takes off so this is how a catapult works Let's say that these round black things are the wheels of the plane. So you attach a hook which is attached to a piston in a tube below it. So when you pass steam through a tube, suddenly it causes the plane to shoot. Now if it's at the initial stage of the catapult and you release the steam, it shoots which helps the plane to take off. Now this is a very expensive technology. So not all nations use it. As of now, only US and France are using it. Other countries like India and China use these kind of systems wherein you have no mechan complex mechanics. All you have is a ski ramp. So your plane just goes up the ramp and it flies. As simple as that. But then how do you land the plane? Isn't that also a concerning thing? Well, it's pretty simple. You use these kind of technologies. So what you do is basically you place a hook at the back of the plane and wires on the deck and when the plane lands this is what you see the wire catches is caught by the hook of the plane and the plane comes to a stop the pilot is assisted by crew on the deck who shoot lasers according to the laser which the pilot sees he can understand if he is at the right angle of landing or not and in case the landing fails let me tell you that the landing runway is always tilted both horizontally and vertically that way in case the wire snaps or the landing fails or even if the hook misses the wire the plane can still take off or it can at least prevent the damage on the ship so this is a small engine that i've tried to make although it's not really working it's still very helpful to understand now if you look inside the turbines will rotate Now although I do have the fuel connection inside the engine, I am not using it to demonstrate because it might explode since the airflow is not enough. So that's how jet engines work and planes take off and land on a little tiny ship in the middle of the ocean. Thank you.